Hey Legionnaires, and welcome back. We're here with another 1100 AD battle for you today. This is the Rome 2 Medieval mod 1100 AD, and my gosh, it is a glorious mod with loads of different factions, loads of unique units, and unique outfits. And they do look amazing, do these units, they really do. And in today's battle, the Pope has betrayed his Crusader allies, the Teutonic Order, and is now allied with the Venetians and is taking down the Teutonic Order once and for all. And as you can see here, we have the damn Pope himself leading his armies into battle with his Popey helmet and he is ready to go. But yes, as you can see here, we have the Papal States and they will be taking on the Teutonic Order along with the Kingdom of Poland this one so I'm very excited to see how these guys do that is for sure and yes as you can see the uh, the two factions already clashing uh, with a bit of a uh, archer fire and uh, it looks like Poland is already going to be uh, to be riding into battle to take these guys on so let's see how they do will these brave cab just go straight on in There you go, the cavalry going straight in, no messing about really from these two sides here. The Polish uh, cavalry, yeah, the knights going in. We've got a general going in who's just a Polish knight unit. He's not like a special general's bodyguard. We've got archer fire as well also being fired in. And as you can see, yeah, I mean the Polish general here could be in a little bit of trouble. He needs to be very, very careful. We also have the general's uh, bodyguard for the papacy in here, so both sides committing their generals early on in this one. Light spearmen just going in to support that cab fight if necessary. Medium spears there, they're going to start poking away. Spears are a great way to counter cavalry. And they'll do just exactly that. These guys literally look like they've just been given a spear and a like, shield and told to just go into battle. They literally have no sort of armor. Yeah, the battle lines are about to... Oh, they have, in fact, clashed. We have Polish noble infantry. A lot of nobles in this fight against dismounted Italian knights. Fighting in this snowy terrain here. I presume we're in somewhere in, like, northern Europe. Yes, if you guys are enjoying the 1100 AD content, I know you, a lot of you did enjoy that uh, Byzantine or that Roman Empire battle that we did not too long ago. Then, uh... Do feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're on here, and a comment show support. It really does help out the channel. And with Germanic, uh, is that long axes? Yeah, long axes going in. Okay. I mean, some of them have definitely got swords, so I feel like they are not fitting the description of having a long axe like this guy right in front of us. He's got some like a Zweihander. Yeah, they're taking on Venetian spearmen, and they're cutting through those guys. Yeah, more Germanic long axes here, slicing and dicing these Italians. So yeah, it's sort of like an Italian sort of uh, coalition here against uh, more of like a Northern European uh, coalition. It looks like we've got some Polish noble infantry actually wavering, but that's fine. There is a fresh unit to go in, take on those dismounted Italian knights. The, the Venetians over here have actually brought some cab over as well to support against the Polish flank, which is uh, there's more and more spears joining this fight. Both sides committing infantry. And also, if you would like to send in your own Total War replays or uh, are looking to rejoin my Discord, feel free to uh, join my new server. The link is down below in the description. And that's where we're rebuilding our epic community and hopefully going to rebuild and build stronger. As you can see here again, the Italian Heavy Cab going in. And these guys are pretty good, I imagine. Look at the stats. 54 melee attack. Oh my gosh. Yeah, massively better than the Polish Knights of 44. Those guys do not mess about. Uh, we have got quite a lot of Venetians though wavering though. This is a problem. Lots of Venetian crossbows starting to go here. We've got some Venetian lo long axes. They've brought some of their own long axes to the battlefield. They're taking on Teutonic Cav here. This is a Teutonic Knight, Knight's Guard. Oh my gosh, it's a cool name. Yeah, they're very heavy. Shock Cav. I'm surprised they're not like uh, super heavy or something like that. There. He's, like the Teutonic Knights are kind of like the big thing of the era. Some of the heaviest knights about. And 
There you go. Looks like the Venetians are going to break there. Those heavy swordsmen have just had too much fighting. And we've got a, pole, a pike here, in fact. An armoured pike unit. Um, it's Venetian. That looks quite cool. It doesn't look very too armoured to me. But uh, it's not like as armoured as some other units I've seen in the past. But yeah, they've broken pretty damn quickly as well. Look at that. The Venetian line is st certainly starting to crumble, as is some of the Papal lines. But the Papal Cav is in behind now. We have uh, that Italian Knight unit here. And also some uh, General's Bodyguard. They're in behind. They could go for uh, some rear charges here. In fact, the Venetian player has already done that with his Venetian horsemen. Or, or there's actually veteran horsemen, I should call them. They're not a... Uh, well, they are Venetian, but they're veterans. Venetians. And they've routed those archers, or they're going to route them. Crossbows, in fact. And they're going into some Teutonic Sergeants here. And I imagine the Teutonic Sergeants are much more than a match for these uh, Venetian veteran horsemen. Eh, yeah, actually they are. They are winning that fight, apparently. But certainly the infantry line is not looking great. Uh, Spiling those uh, German armoured axemen are starting to break. But it's taken a lot of lives. They've taken a lot of lives with them. I'd be interested to see what kills they got at the end. Let's get it this side. It's a bit brighter. Yeah, the uh, infantry here is holding on just. Yeah, more Germanic swords in here. Oh, these are armoured Germanic swords. These are an entirely different unit. I guess these are like dismounted knights of the Teutonics army. Yeah, the Venetian spears are in behind. V Venice is fully capitulated. And it looks like the same for Poland, really. It looks like uh, the Papacy has won their fight. They're kind of just resting up here. They've got heavy crossbows. They've got uh, Italian elite swordsmen in here. A lot of infantry still alive by the looks of it. And crossbows, heavy crossbows still. And they're still fighting back here. So there's Castellan against Italian elite infantry here. Uh, mediums against very heavy uh, in favor of the... Hey, PC, that is not going to go well for these poor Poles. But yeah, it seems like they're just mopping up some of the Poles here, and now they can just turn to face the Teutonic Order. It is a bit of an uphill climb, though. Um, the Teutonic Order seems like they're pretty... They're pretty healthy. And the, and the Polish are still in this game. They've still got a bit of infantry. Cannot forget that. Cav, though, I'd certainly say the Italian states are looking a lot more healthy. Um... Well, the Teutonic Knights Guard's still here, uh, and Teutonic Sergeants, but that is it. Seems like there's still plenty of, uh, of Italian cab, that's for sure. Yeah, the Pope's still alive, of course. Got 25 men left. They actually brought a um, dismounted dismounted Teutonic Knights Guard, alright, as a general. I'm surprised they didn't just bring a, uh, a cab general. They do look awesome. Look at these guys. They do look amazing. And the Pope's gone in. But possibly a foolish charge. He's got himself quite isolated over here. Behind enemy lines. He's battling some of those uh, Teutonic Knights guard. I'm surprised he just didn't call him Ritter Bruder. Maybe he just didn't fancy that name. I don't know. But yeah. They're getting chopped down. They're getting weaker and weaker. The uh, General's bodyguard there. He needs to be careful. I can get out of here. Just get back to your own lines. You might be able to help influence the fight there. Um, like your infantry is pretty solid they, they, they've got very heavy elite infantry that's just really really good they've been absolutely tanking yeah, yeah we've got like a couple of very healthy units here they might be able to do a lot of work and the crossbows I imagine pretty good with armor piercing against units that probably don't have much in the way of missile block like these axemen who are literally have no shield as the arrows come flying in yeah they're doing some damage to these armor Germanic swords where's the don't tell me they've Oh, they have, haven't they? They've killed the Italian knights to a man. And the general's bodyguard's on. Yeah, this is what you get for isolating yourself. And the Pope is dead. Oh, no. The Catholic world will shake at the sound of that news. What horrors have happened on this battlefield here? The Pope is dead. They need a new Pope. But these men must fight on for their martyred lord. God's representative on Earth is dead. I mean, yes, that will certainly damage the morale of these elite units. And I imagine now the Teutonic Order will take this uh, chance to be aggressive and make good of its advantage in numbers and also morale. Be quite aggressive here. I imagine we'll see a charge almost certainly from these long axes. We're just getting mercy fired down by crossbows here. Like, this is brutal. It's very cool that they have got crossbows in this game. I mean, you've got to remember crossbows aren't a thing 
in Rome too. So those animations that they've had to do and like the models you put in, all like unique. Very, very cool. So much work. But yes, if you want to get the 1100 AD mod and you haven't already and you think, you know what, Pope, you've persuaded me with this glorious battle. And I'll uh, leave the link for it in the description of this video so you can go and uh, get it. It's very easy to install. It's just a simple subscribe on the workshop. It's like two parts. I'll leave a link for one part because um, it notifies you on the on Steam Workshop that you must have the other part. So uh, very easy to find both parts. And yeah, definitely check it out. It is a really cool up and coming, very regularly updated mod. And if you love all things medieval, it's for you. And it has a working campaign as well, which I know a lot of people is a, is a deal breaker. Light Spearmen here though, they are getting absolutely slaughtered by these armored swords. The Zweihander wielding boys, actually they're, they're not, they're uh, the sword, just the sword and shield variant. But the crossbows are now into the front lines, they are probably going to break pretty quickly. They're not used to fighting with a sword and shield. For the PPC, they've done all they could against the poles, but they've just run out of uh, morale and men. It seems now at this point against the uh, against the mighty Teutonic Order, we'll call him. I was going to say ever strong, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, it's I think the only mistake in this battle is a fairly simple fight. It wasn't anything like I think too tactical. They just kind of clashed with each other. Um, I think certainly the the cab over here, the um, the uh, papacy cab, definitely could have done a better job of. Um, of um, like not being isolated really and then also I think they had pikes at the Venetians they should have thrown those pikes forward a lot earlier supported their, sp their sword line and spears they might have been able to uh, to win that fight I don't know what, how good pikes are in this mod I've yet to really see them in action but pikes in like in generally in Rome 2 support infantry fights quite well and yeah these axemen they're just cutting through these papal boys it's sad to say, see, as a Pope myself, to see so many good men die unnecessarily in the name of the Pope. We should be winning this battle, boys, but instead, defeat seems imminent. We must regroup at Rome, the Eternal City. There you go, a rear charge from some of that remaining Teutonic Cav, Teutonic Sergeants there. Only seven of them left, but seven mounted men is enough to break that unit almost actually they broke themselves funny enough the Italian the Italian elite swords live on for now if I would have thought as this fighting goes on these men tire morale will be more and more affected they'll start to waver and break even if they're like insanely elite troops yeah, combat even in fact and they're beating a lot of units here Germanic Swords losing. They're losing as well, these Germanic Swords. Yeah, they're killing a lot of guys. I mean, the Germanic Swords... I'm um, sorry. What are those? Those are Armored Axe Warriors. They've been broken by the crossbows. It seems the crossbows are no slouch in melee. I mean, they are heavy crossbows. They're probably well armored. But they are losing now. Imagine if they killed the, uh, the Grand Master here of the Teutonic Order. They might be able to cause a bit of morale issue themselves. But it looks like... It's not going to happen as one after another these Italian papal units break here and there you go. A costly enemy victory. Um, so yeah, that is very, very unfortunate. So let me replay and have a look and have a look at these end results. So yeah, this was sent in by Cyrus the Great. So thank you very much, man, for sending this one in. He also did the, uh, re, um, did the thumbnail for today's video. So I hope you... Uh, yeah, have enjoyed the video and thank you very much Cyrus for sending it in. It's very much appreciated. Um, had a bit of a rough game as the Venetians it seems. Um, only 700 kills but uh, he did do some damage to the Teutonic Order which is obviously very important. Yeah, I don't know what's done really well for him really. 70 of these Venetian heavy swords. His uh, long axes did pretty well as well. I wonder whether he should have brought more of these guys to counter the, uh, the long axes of the uh, Teutons. Um, also his uh, Venetian swords here 65 kills not too bad uh, a veteran horse here getting 93 kills um, but yeah not too many kills there then we have K1 playing against the Papal States he won his fight with his general's bodyguard here getting 171 kills the Pope himself doing excellent work there then we have uh, Italian knights getting 160 kills 132 with the heavy crossbows 152 with another one and then we have dismounted Italian knights here with 107 123 with the Italian elite swords and then 144 with the light spearman here. Then we have Cheesy playing as uh, 
a the Teutonic Order. Uh, not getting too many kills. Actually, there's Cav here. There's guards, uh, Knight's Guard getting 112 kills. Uh, his crossbow is getting 102. His uh, Armored Axe Warriors here getting 162, 125 kills. The Armored Germanic Swords, 134. Um, and then 96 with the Teutonic uh, Knight Guards here, like the dismounted ones. And then the Long Axes did the most of the heavy lifting, it feels like, for his army. 126, 143, 134. Then we have, um, so well done to Cheesy. Then we have Bok uh, BG here playing as the Polish player. Uh, his Cav getting 42 kills before being killed off. A lot of this actual Cav did just get absolutely wiped out by the Papal Cav. Uh, 87 kills for the crossbows here. Uh, 77 kills with these Castellans. Uh, yeah, he brought a lot of medium infantry here, which seems to just get absolutely annihilated by the Papal Heavy Infantry. Polish Noble Infantry with 105 kills. Um, and then, yeah, his Spears getting 60 kills there. But there you go, guys. That is today's 1100 AD battle. I hope you did enjoy. Do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.